Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to Math Mode. Really interesting exponential equation today. We have 5 to the power 7 to the power x equal to 7 to the power 5 to the power x. And right here we need to find our x. How can we do this? Of course, the best way to solve it is to take log on both sides. So let's do this. If we take log on both sides, we will have natural log of this left hand side. So 5 to the power 7 to the power x equal to natural log of 7 to the power 5 to the power x. And a lot of students know that these powers from here and from here jump in the beginning, so we can easily use this log, natural log property. Or not natural log, this is like the, the logarithm general property. So we have 7 to the x times natural log 5 equal to 5 to the x times natural log 7. So we have this, this expression. What are we going to do next? Let's apply log one more one more time because right here we can easily take natural log of this 7 to the x times natural log 5 so on from the left hand side equal to natural log from the right hand side from the 5 to the x times natural log natural log 7 and if you apply this how can we write it? We can write it as a sum of two logarithms because right here we have a product so we can write it as a sum of two logarithms. First of all, we have natural log of 7 to the x plus natural log of natural log 5. And on the right hand side, we have natural log 5 to the x and plus natural log of natural log 7. So we have this, this expression. I hope you understand this step. Just knowing the log property, so if we have natural log of a product, you can write it as a sum of two logarithms. That's right here. Okay, what are we going to do next? Right here, the same thing. We can write this x right here in the beginning and right here we can write it as well. So as a result, x times natural log 7 and I want to bring this one on the left hand side. So minus x times natural log 5. This is on the left hand side and I want to bring this one because this is a constant and this is a constant. So we can easily bring this on the right hand side. So we have natural log of natural log 7 minus natural log of natural log natural log 5. I hope you understand this step right now. Okay, right here x is a common, we can easily factor it. So x and in parentheses we have L ln 7 minus ln 5 equal to right here the same thing or we can use a rule real quick right here we can write this one as natural log of logarithm 7 base of 5 or in the same way we can write it as natural log 7 over natural log 5 both ways we can write it in in both ways right here so this one can be written as as this one so doesn't matter for us, we can write our answer x from here, dividing by this expression on the left, because we don't need it, this is a constant, so this goes to the, our denominator, or we can write it as natural log 7 over 5, because we have a subtraction, so we can write it as division, yeah? And in our denominator, we can write it as natural log of log 7 base of 5, this is our this is our answer. A little bit complicated answer as we can see, there is no like integers, real quick, real quick solution and I hope you enjoy it. If you still have any question, write a question in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment, it will be really interesting to read it and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, your likes, your comments, it really inspires me and helps to improve my channel. Thank you and have a great day.